The Crucible, when I was coming up, we read it. It was a required reading in, I think, the ninth grade. It is a play by Arthur Miller based on the true story of the Salem, Massachusetts witch trials in 1692. So, so we start with the dancing. It's from Tituba in the forest and we're caught by my uncle, who is the priest who happens to be scouring the woods apparently. Yes. And we were doing some spells to find out about our future husband. So we get caught suddenly the next day. There's rumors of witchcraft. It's very spiritually, religiously driven, but it is about rumor condemning people, extremes, irrational behavior that led to people being hanged. One of our biggest challenges was to make sure we had the right team. And I have an all-female design team. <laughs> They're all from different backgrounds, have such different perspectives. The set to me is epic. It's big, it's looming. We talked about having this be a period piece and taking a lot of inspiration from what the structures and what churches and what the court would have looked like during that time and having us be in this world that is slowly burning at the edges and getting smaller and smaller. That was a part of my color choices for lighting. Like, it's eerie, right? So that's the idea, <laughs> is to get that atmosphere, the era of where we are, but also make it abstract, right? There's some yeah. textures and there's some lighting elements, a lot of atmospheric, <laughs> a lot of shadows and amber to get that idea of like something burning. The show is really about these females that are ridiculed and the women are really on low, 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 low in the food chain during that period. It's nice, especially with this show, to have females' perspectives, so that's dynamic for me to have this opportunity.